Yes. Close your eyes. All right. Ever wondered about the hidden struggles of Hollywood legends? Today, we've got the inside scoop on Desi Arnaz. We're about to reveal the shocking truth about his secret battle with alcohol, confirmed by his own son. Don't hold your breath! Ha! You won't believe the journey that Desi Arnaz embarked on just a year before his passing in 1986. This iconic sitcom star, known for his role on I Love Lucy, had a lifelong struggle with alcohol. But he made a remarkable decision to turn his life around, and his son, Desi Jr., played a crucial role in this transformative journey. Now here's the thing about the Arnaz family. They were masters at keeping their problems within their inner circle. So when Desi Arnaz Sr. decided to confront his drinking problem, it was a profound moment for the entire family. Desi Jr. played an essential part in convincing his father to attend Alcoholics Anonymous meetings and commit to a life without alcohol. In 1985, just a year after beginning his sobriety journey, Desi received a devastating diagnosis, cancer. This was a heartbreaking blow for him and his family. However, the Arnaz children, Lucy and Desi Jr., have openly shared their immense pride in their late father. In the documentary Lucy and Desi, Lucy Arnaz beautifully expresses this pride, saying, quote, It was a big hurdle for him to do that, and I was very proud of him. That takes an incredible amount of courage. Let's switch gears a bit and talk about the fabulous Lucille Ball, one of the most beloved actresses of all time. I mean, who doesn't love Lucy, right? Lucille Ball was an absolute trailblazer in the entertainment industry. Known for her impeccable comedic timing and that charming, charismatic personality, she paved the way for countless future female stars. She wasn't just an actress. She was a comedian, a model, and even made her mark in the TV industry as a studio executive and producer. Talk about a multi-talented powerhouse. Now here's a little known fact about Lucy's journey to stardom. Before she became the household name we all know and adore, she faced some serious challenges. She initially struggled to find work in the bustling streets of New York City. But did she let that get her down? No, not a chance. She packed her bags, headed for Hollywood, and fully committed herself to becoming a successful actress. That's the kind of determination we love to see. And then came the big moment that catapulted her into legendary status. I love Lucy. It's so tasty, too. <laughs> this sitcom wasn't just any show. It was a groundbreaking masterpiece. Lucille Ball not only starred in it, but also produced it. Oh, and her co-star? None other than her then-husband, Desi Arnaz. The chemistry between those two was electric, and the show's success was off the charts. It even led to a bunch of spin-offs, solidifying Lucy's legacy as one of the greatest sitcom actresses of all time. Now, even though Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz are no longer with us, their memory lives on through their incredible children. Lucy Arnaz and Desi Arnaz Jr. didn't just inherit their parents' famous names. They inherited their talent and passion for the entertainment industry. Born into a family as famous and busy as theirs, it's no shocker that these two decided to follow in their parents' footsteps and step into the entertainment industry. I mean, with a legacy like I Love Lucy, who wouldn't be inspired? Lucy Arnaz came into the world on July 17, 1951, which was a mere six months before the premiere of I Love Lucy. That's practically destiny, right? And if that wasn't enough, her brother Desi Jr. made quite an entrance himself on January 19, 1953. His birth even became part of the show's storyline. Imagine being born into such an iconic TV legacy. Now, these siblings weren't just ordinary kids. Nope, they were under the spotlight from an early age and had the public's fascination. But they didn't just rest on their laurels. Lucy took her first steps into showbiz at just 11 years old, starring in The Lucy Show, a spin-off of their parents' famous series. Lucy went on to star in another spin-off, Here's Lucy. And she didn't stop there. She ventured into films and television, gracing us with her presence in classics like Murder, She Wrote and Law and & Order. 
Oh, and let's not forget, she had her very own talk show in 1985 called The Lucy Arnaz Show. And guess what? Lucy Arnaz even made a special appearance in an episode of Will and Grace in 2020. And you won't believe this, it had an I Love Lucy theme. That's like the ultimate crossover, right? Lucy is currently rocking her 70s, and let me tell you, she's had quite the journey. She's been down the marriage road twice, first with actor Philip Vandervoort Menegaw, and then with writer Lawrence Luckenbill. But here's the sweet part. Lucy and Lawrence tied the knot back in 1980 and are still going strong. That's some serious relationship goals right there. Now, they're not just enjoying the California sunshine. They're living in the beautiful Palm Springs area. Not a bad place to call home, right? And he said, I love you too, honey. But let's dive into something even more heartwarming. Lucy opened up in an interview with People in February 2022 about her father's remarkable journey to sobriety. You see, Desi Sr. resisted the idea of going into AA or any program for a long time. The Arnaz family, as we mentioned earlier, had a tradition of keeping their issues within the family. After Desi's wife Edie passed away, he found himself at a crossroads. And who do you think was there to lend a helping hand? None other than his son, Desi Jr. Lucy shared that her brother convinced their father to take that brave step into AA. And what happened next is truly remarkable. Desi Sr. stood up in an AA meeting and said those powerful words. My name is Desi and I'm an alcoholic. For Lucy, it was the proudest moment of her life, sitting right there beside her father, witnessing his incredible courage. It wasn't an easy journey for him or for anyone battling addiction, but he did it. Lucy also recalled, quote, there was forgiveness, there was understanding, there was an appreciation for that other person and what you got from that other person, regardless of the stuff that hurt that never went away. And that was beautiful. And that, in and of itself, was a wonderful thing to leave us. Now let's talk about the real-life drama behind the scenes of I Love Lucy. We all adored Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz as the perfect on-screen couple. But off screen, their marriage was a roller coaster that deeply affected their children. Fast forward nearly 60 years, and Lucy, at 67, decided to peel back the curtain and spill the beans. According to her interview with Closer Magazine, their home was no Hollywood fairy tale. No, it was filled with constant fighting, anger, and screaming. That's definitely not the picture perfect family we imagined. Lucy and Desi's divorce was far from amicable and had a profound impact on the children. Even though there wasn't any abuse, they went through some pretty tough times, and that's why their parents decided to part ways. It's heartbreaking to hear how challenging it was for the family. But let's rewind a bit to where it all began. Lucy and Desi's love story kicked off on the set of an RKO picture called Too Many Girls in 1939. Lucy was a 28-year-old contract player and Desi a dashing Cuban-born nightclub band leader who was just 23. They fell head over heels and tied the knot in 1940 after a whirlwind six-month romance. But as we know, fairy tales don't always have happy endings. The couple eventually decided to call it quits and divorced in 1960 when daughter Lucy was just nine and son Desi Jr. was seven. It had gotten so tough that Lucy herself said, quote, it would be better for us not to be together. However, the story doesn't end in heartbreak. Both Lucy and Desi found love again. She had a 28-year marriage to comedian Gary Morton, and Desi married his neighbor, Edie Hirsch. But life had its own plans. Desi passed away at the age of 69 in December 1986, and Lucy followed in April 1989 at the age of 77. You said turn right here, and I turned right. You didn't let me finish. I was trying to tell you to turn left. What I was trying to say is you turn right here left. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed uncovering the hidden stories of Desi Arnaz and his inspiring journey to sobriety, give us a thumbs up. Share the video and hit that subscribe button for more fascinating celebrity tales.